Okay, this is a quick and off-the-cuff demonstration and tutorial of the new pattern system. So the pattern system is a new feature in the experimental uh, Scorpion editor. So we need Scorpion editor 2024.1. Um, I will put the link for that in the description of this video. So to start off, I'm going to open the Gothicvania uh, demo. So Gothicvania features art by the uh, exceptional pixel artist Ansimus. Um, we have this cool ghost animation and what we will do is we will make an actor that uses that animation and has a sort of nice curved pattern. So uh, to start with I'm going to copy, I've already got a version of that actor so I'm just going to make a copy of it and I'm going to call this ghost pattern. So I'm going to change it from CPU path to CPU pattern. And you see that it's turned off the cardinal directions. And I'll explain why in a little bit why we can't use cardinal directions for this movement type. But I'm going to select a direction that we can move in. And if I just click, click play, uh, you just see that it, um, it moves in that default uh, that default pattern. Uh, let's um, let's move it around a bit. So uh, we're going to make the character move uh, constantly towards the player. Uh, let's change the number of timeline frames. So fifty frames means it runs for one second. Uh, let's make it uh, let's make it run for two seconds. So I'm going to change that. Um, <clears throat> I should mention that. Uh, like this is a very very new system for a Scorpion engine. It's uh, quite. It could well have uh, quite a few bugs. Um, if you're watching this video a year after I published it, it probably does a lot more than um, than what it currently does. Uh, so we've got this animation that, or this pattern that runs for a second. Uh, what we'll do is we'll add some up and down movement. So I'm going to go halfway back in my timeline. Then I'm going to move this character up. Uh, let's make it. Um, let's move it all the way up to. Or okay, so if I run it now. Okay, so character goes up and down. It's still not super interesting. Um, so there's a few things we can do to um, uh, make it um, make it a more interesting pattern. On both the X and the Y, we can um, change the easing or the tween equation. So most of these are based on the easing from... I believe it's easings.net. I'll put a link in the description as well so you can see what uh, most of these look like. But there's a lot here that you can experiment with. Um, what I will do for it going up and down, um, I will use the... Let's try the ease in quad for going up. And then the ease out quad for going down. It's given a bit of a curve. Um, I'm going to do that same thing on the uh, on the x-axis because I don't really want this to be. I don't really want the ease to make the curve. I just want to use the ease so that it um, has some acceleration. So you can see that the wizard accelerates up towards, or the ghost accelerates up towards the top point and then slows down as it moves. Um, <clears throat> moves back down towards the ground. Um, but I definitely do want to have a curve in there. So I'm going to use the Bezier uh, function. So we can use linear, which you know doesn't have any curve at all. We could use quadratic, which has one point, or cubic, which has two. I'm just going to try quadratic. And then with that, I can move the, uh, I can move the point around. So 
So let's see what that looks like. So uh, yeah, we've got a um, got a curve that's kind of interesting. Let's um, let's make the second half uh, quadratic as well. So we sort of make it like a um, like a fish shaped curve. So let's run that again. So that's um, that's kind of interesting. So you see it. Yeah, the wizard accelerates, or the ghost accelerates up, and then um, slows down. It's coming down. It has sort of a nice smooth curve. Um, all of these points are they represent where the ghost will be at different frames, and the reason why it's not perfectly smooth is because this is you know quite a low resolution. So these are the actual um, like number of pixels that will be moving over uh, for every frame for all of these one hundred frames. Now I'll need to put that ghost pattern in my level so I can actually, um, oops, cannot set left as a default uh, direction. So that's something that I um, forgot to adjust was I've set the look direction as left, but we don't support left as a default direction on the pattern type. Um, so I'm going to put up left as a default uh, direction. And the reason why we only support the diagonals is because we can, what we can do is we get all four of these um, direction, well, we, we get four variants. So we draw our path in any one of these directions, and then all, we for free we get all of these other ways. So we might decide, okay, well, we'll play this one if, we, if the enemy starts from the left, but if it starts from the right side of the screen, then we have this one. So the ghost is you know moving towards the player from from the left side of the screen now let's um let's go into my map oh, just got to close these other maps and then okay so ghost pattern that's a new actor so that's at the end of the actor's tile set And let's stamp you somewhere in the level on the objects layer. Um, I'll put you all the way over here. I don't want you to spawn like at the very start of the level. Um, I just want to scroll into the level a bit before having you spawn. And I'm running this on AGA Amiga mode. So let's, um, let's run this, see if it runs in the Amiga emulator. I might give it a quick test on the Mega Drive emulator after this, just to make sure that it's running the same on um, on both platforms. So we've got a couple of enemies at the start, and there you are. We've got a um, got a movement pattern. Oh, we seem to have bugged the um, I've bugged bugged the background there. Try to fix that real quick. Um, that one should be camera lock. Just give that another quick try. Okay, the parallax is looking better, and we've got our um, we've got our enemy ghost that's doing this um, uh, this pattern that we've um, quickly put together. Oh. <clears throat> and um, now that was something I didn't expect was the ghost has started going in the opposite direction after it hit the left side of the screen. Uh, that is because we've got the block for the left is bounced. So what happened was when we hit the left side of the screen, uh, so I was playing that originally when it hit the left side of the screen, it switched to doing that. So it started going back in the other direction. So that wasn't something I'd intended, but because bounce is configured, as a, um, is configured for these directions, that's what happened. If I put block, then maybe it would just, you know, stick to the wall. Uh, in fact, I'm going to try that. If I change that to block, 
And I said I was going to give it a quick test on Mega Drive, so I'll switch to uh, switch to Mega Drive, not 32x, and open that up. My ghost here. My ghost is not here. Uh, I think I know where that is. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, and the reason is because I used I have a different map for the Mega Drive version of the game. Um, I think it was a few different uh, tile layers I had to take out because yeah, you know, we've got less video RAM on the Mega Drive, so I'm just going to add uh, the ghost in approximately where it is in the Amiga version. I'll just add it to the objects layer, and let's give that another run. Uh, there you are. So let's see what happens when we um, uh, when it gets right to the uh, the end of the level. I didn't actually expect it to change directions, but again, this is. Um, uh, this is very new pattern. Uh, this is very new movement type, so there's likely to be a few bugs and things that we don't quite expect um, in these beyond out of time. But anyway, so um, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you'd like to support me or support the Scorpion Engine, um, you can like this video, you can subscribe, you can share the video. Uh, you can also um, support me on my Patreon, which I will also post a link in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>